Right, I'm back for part two, and the other game I actually just found out there was Mad World. That's so that's basically the seven games I finished this year thus far now. And as I said, there'll be another one hopefully by the end of the day, which um, I'll say talk to you about later. And um, Dante's Inferno now. Right, I was very much looking forward to this game mainly because of the fact is it looked like God of War. And you basically have to say that once you see footage of it, you have to, you can't think of any other game because pretty much that's what it is at the end. It's it is a clone, a God of War clone, um, at the end of the day, and in my opinion, a good one at that. So it is, um. But I've seen review, I've seen reviews of it pretty much sort of after I finished the game now, and well, some of the reviews may have given a pretty how, like GameSpot for example kinda you know give it a kind of a bad mark now um, but it, some things in the review now did I, I could agree with now um, mainly they said about the whole challenges part in the 8th circle where you have to go through these 10 challenges I think it is 10 challenges and yeah each challenge has a certain requirement like one for example you you can't use like magic or you can't block or whatever um something like, like something like that now and that is kind of tedious though like they could have done that there but like half it perhaps it, may, it would have been all right but in fact it just keeps going on and just gets a bit tiresome after a while um but the thing is i watched game trailers review of it and honestly, that there one I think is probably the worst of the lot. And that there, they just re they're really harsh on it though. I love the fact is, and the the review, person who reviewed the game, I don't know what he says, he keeps on dying or whatever due to the bad QTEs or something like that. He can't see the QTEs or something. I had no problem whatsoever with the QTEs in that game. No problem whatsoever. Mainly, I died because of falling a lot though, and um, due to maybe sort of. By my own faults, perhaps sometimes, or just took a misstep, or whatever, or just jumped and fell and didn't quite make the thing now. Um, but that was, I did die, but that was most of my deaths anyway by falling. Um, it was like very few I died by, like, you know, combat. Um, so it was like a couple of times mainly, but that was it. But it's not really that hard a game, though. Um, anyway, at the end of the day, um, the like God of War is probably harder, so it is, um, than it. Mainly because of the fact is that there's certain points in the game where you can basically just spam the Holy Cross, the Beatrix Crucifix, the cross move, and basically just spam the hell out of it to get out of um, certain situations, though. And that sort of makes the game, that's a main reason why that game's easier then, because of that. Because you have infinite of that now, it's not like you like you know use it in like magic easy stuff now. You just use it. You can use it to your hearts can to your hearts content pretty much. Um, but like the, this this is the way they just they just really ripped on the game though. And like sure everyone has their time to their own opinion, but some of it is just uh, just as I said that QT whole thing was stupid though. And I don't think a lot of people as well had problems with that now. I think it's just basically the reviewer being a bit of a whiner and keep kept on dying. And I don't know why because I said it's not a easy it's not a hard game. I die but mainly by falling. By like either by taking a misstep or not reaching the sort of you know platform or whatever in time. But I think it's a good game though. I really enjoyed it though. Um like the first part of the game is brilliant though the whole like the first circles and that there but it does get a bit stale towards the end though but I still enjoyed it though like I like the last boss in the game though I think the last boss in it is pretty cool um, so I do but there is certain parts though mainly that those challenges are just tedious though but it's a good game though and I really enjoy it and I'm looking forward to the sequel because there is going to be a sequel um, since it is based on the like you know the divine comedy trilogy like there's of course there's Inferno there's Purgatorio and then there's going to be Paradiso which and I assume Purgatorio is going to be the next one then so it'll probably be Dante's Purgatorio or something like that now um, along those lines but I, I think it's a good game though and I recommend you try it out now probably best renting it now um, since just to make sure though or try the demo at least and see what you 
and um, think of the demo at least anyway and see if it's um, right up your street but if you liked God of War then you should like this because it's pretty much a lot it's pretty much similar and um, with a few differences and um, Another game that came out this month that I know a lot of people are looking forward to is Bioshock 2. And um, I, as I said, I the last video I actually did now was about Bioshock 2 Special Edition unboxing now, which a lot of people, well not a whole lot of people, but a few people watch now. Um, and I haven't finished it. And I don't know why though, but I did play good a bit of it though. But the thing is though. It's just something inside me doesn't want to play that game for just some reason. I don't know what. It's just I just don't feel like playing that game whatsoever. Like I I put it in, then played it for a couple of minutes, and then just and then just something inside me just says I don't really want to play this. I don't know what the hell it is. Maybe because I'm probably bored of it already, or something along those lines. Or maybe because the fact is there's certain games coming out that I kind of want to play more, but could just play it. Like games out this week that I know a lot of people are looking forward to get play it, are playing at the moment. And some of them are finished, and I'm getting it tomorrow. Hopefully, is Heavy Rain, which looks brilliant, um, and I'm really looking forward to playing it now. And in a, in a few weeks' time, there's going to be Final Fantasy 13, and then there's going to be God of War 3. And there's always like Yakuza 3 and things like that now. And it is just going to be a busy few months. A busy month um, ahead, so, there is, so it is. For a lot of people. Certainly myself included. So. But maybe I might go back into it though sometime when there's like, you know, a, a bit of a drought. Because there is other games I'm kind of playing now at the moment. One of them being a boy in his blob, which I got there. Um, I think last December, I believe, or start of January, and really, really like it. It's a very just a simple game that you just can play no problem and just have a lot of fun with. At the end of the day, it's, a, it's just not one of those games like you pull your heart out of frustration now. Uh, this just has a really nice art style to it now, I just like the way it looks though, and it's just a really cutesy wee puzzle platforming game pretty much, so it's kind of a platforming game with puzzle elements though anyway at the end of the day, basically just trying to find how to get to the treasure box, treasure chests in each level though, but it's a really cute game though, and I really like it. Um, I said so I traded in a few games to get Bioshock 2, which I did now. And there's a bunch of games as well where I traded in recently there to get a few more games. Many ones I just either was not going to bother playing anymore, to tell the truth, anyway. Like I traded in, like, I think it was seven games the other day I chose to there. And I got um, Darksiders, which I rented before. But I, I just might as well buy it bad though because I liked them. I liked it enough to buy it now. It was only thirty pound now, and then um, Tatsunoko versus Capcom Ultimate All Stars in the way because that was a game I kind of wanted to get as well, which is pretty cool. I really like that game as well. The ones I trade in war and um, the seven games I trade in war, Gears of War the Collector's Edition, the first one, and um, Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit which was a good game but I'm pretty much done with it because I completed the Chronicles mode and I never touched online in it but it looks like I would have bothered. Um, Star Wars Forced Unleashed um, I was trading in it, I, was going, I should have kept it anyway but I was going to trade it in and see if I can find the Ultimate Sith Edition and I'll probably get it sometime the Ultimate Sith Edition then once it's gone down in price um, what else that's three now. Um, oh man, I forget. So I forget the games. I forget. I get better. I get a better memory. Um, Ninja Gaiden Two. That's another one. That game just annoys the hell out of me. I just cannot finish that game. I just can't finish that game. Um, Smackdown Fall Raw 2008, which is the worst Smackdown game I've played in a while. It's definitely the worst of the four that's come out on the three on the next 
the, this generation. So it is definitely by far it's five. Um, Forget uh, there's another one I have now, but there's another one I got no, and uh, that is Modern Warfare 2 Hardened Edition, which might be surprising to some. But honestly, that game I don't care. Like it's not really because of the glitches though. Like there's probably sometimes a maybe kind of had a match or so, but like I never played that. I haven't played that game since like December, and there was no way I was going to go back into it though because I heard of all these problems the game's been having with all these glitches that people keep exploiting and things like that and say like, why would I go back and play in the game like that where you can't really enjoy it anyway and besides I think the game's unbalanced as hell um, even without the glitches but I'll maybe talk a bit more about that in the third part so stay tuned <laughs> 